Johnson here, RF Slayer Research. I'm going to get right into it. L1, approximately 20 to 30 turns. Litz. L2, approximately 80 to 100 turns. 30 gauge or so. Um, magnet wire. L3, approximately 30 to 50 turns. Litz. L1, L2, and L3 are not connected whatsoever. Everything is induction here. Inductive coupling. I'm, I'm going to say that. I'm going to try and sound smart, but that's what it is. Okay, so back here, this mess here, this wire coming off here, comes to the top of my L1. That is the antenna. This white one. Coming to the bottom of L1. That's ground. L2 sits there. It is linked to this variable capacitor. So in, in essence you have a wave trap in line on the rod. L3 here, which is not connected to anywhere else in the circuit to anything else but itself is the detecting coil, I would call it. If I could have Marconi here, maybe he could tell me different. But The bottom of which is this black wire here. Coming glued here, it comes down, wraps around, and it is right here. Which goes to the ground, or the frame, or chassis of this variable capacitor here. Um... The top, or uh, right, uh, other side of this coil goes down with this white wire back behind the variable capacitor out here to this yellow clip, which comes to where your antenna would input. I got a 1N34A diode, this black wire here. It's just ganging these these capacitors together. There's two capacitors in here. They call this a ganged capacitor, a ganged variable capacitor. So I just I just ganged them together in essence. That is it. That is a crystal radio. Now, I know this works because I have made one before, just like this. I don't like I don't want all the play in it though, right? Some other coil I had I could I could I could adjust L3, I could adjust L2 and I could adjust L1. I know right where I want them because I know what I'm doing here because I have it set up just how I had the other one. So I will get it going and let everyone see how it works. Um <laughs> thank you. Later.